a good morning, Mishpacha and Havarim. It's been the strangest 48 hours. But anyway, Shalom. Much a half to you all. And thank you for joining us here today. We're going to do Philemon. Philemon. Um, okay. From, sorry, I've got things on my mind. I've just found out I'm allergic to a whole load of foods. But anyway, I'm going to deal with that in my own time, thank you. Um, does explain why my body's in such pain though, so that's a good thing, is praise Arba. We're going to read from the How to Do Your Scriptures, but before we start, let's bow our hearts and pitch our tents with Elohim. Dearest Arba Yahweh. We come before you, Father, to worship you, to praise you and to thank you for bringing us here together with you in fellowship for the good news from Shaul, Paul, who sends in this letter good news to Philemon. Please open up our eyes to see, our ears to hear, Father, and our hearts to understand the truth of what is being written here. Thank you for calling us together to be washed and bathed in the word. Thank you for everything, Father. Through Yeshua, I pray in Yahweh. Yahweh, our Kodach Elohim, our dedicated Elohim. Yahweh, Echad. Amen. Okay. So I'm warning you, I'm feeling pretty emotional today. The dog's back home. It's nice, though. My daughter got a job. No, she needs someone to look after her doggy while she works. That's okay. I'm happy to do that. Before I start this reading, I've got to make sure my eyes are dry or I won't be able to see the words. And I'd like to say a little bit about this tiny, tiny letter. It's called Philemon. The name is of Greek origin and it means loving and affectionate. Um, it's from the Greek word philema, or philema, meaning kiss. This particular Philemon in scripture was a wealthy believer in Yeshua from Colossae. And this letter is regarded as one of Paul's, Shaul's works. It only consists of 335 words of Greek text. Wow, well, eh? That's short. Addressing the idea of slavery and based on a runaway slave of Philemon called Onesimus. In this era of history, there were a lot of slaves. Like today, many people are employed. Um, Onesimus means useful, and slavery is not like we think of it. Alan Wolfarth talks about slavery and bond servants. It's in there somewhere. Um, but not slavery that we know or think of in the USA or the UK when we reflect back today, but more like bond servants leading from a forced servitude as an option against poverty because there was so much poverty in those days and obviously we hadn't created communities like we have today where money is easily turned around with people and people can be more helpful to each other, I assume. Anyway... Onesimus visits Shaul Paul in prison, he may have been imprisoned, I don't know, um, and turns to believing in Yeshua HaMashiach, praise Abba. And Paul's, Shaul's, he becomes Paul's, Shaul's beloved assistant. Shaul is then committed to the mission of getting Onesimus forgiven by Philemon and to embrace him as a brother through Yeshua in Yahweh. And no longer as a slave. That's nice, isn't it? I find it most interesting that part 17 to 29 of this one chapter ver uh, um, letter uh, reflects how Paul Shaul sacrifices himself for any debt owed by Onesimus. A reconciliation of partnership to Philemon by absorbing the consequences of any shortfalls. Any missing his mark? Any getting things wrong? Um, Evanissimus is doing. 
That's amazing. Oh, goodness me. The point being that we all share the same need for forgiveness. And in our belief, we are kin through Yeshua in Yahweh, as the Mashiach is all and is in all that live. No race or gender or social or economic class of man's making we will be new humans sharing together in Yahweh's healing mercy through Yeshua. Wow, that's really nice. Anyway, I'm going to need a little Philemon now. And part one of only one. Shaul, a prisoner of Mashiach. Yeshua. I'll start again. Shaul, the prisoner of Mashiach Yeshua, and Timotheus, the brother, to Philemon, our beloved one and fellow worker, and Apphia, our sister, and Archippus, our fellow soldier, and the assembly at your house. Favour to you and peace from Yahweh, our Father, and the Adon, Yeshua HaMashiach. I always thank my Elohim when I mention you in my prayers, hearing of your love and the belief which you have toward the Adon Yeshua and toward all the Kodeshim, so that the sharing of your belief might become working in the knowledge of all the good which is in you toward Mashiach Yeshua. For we have much joy and encouragement in your voice encouragement in your love because the tender affections of the Kodashim have been refreshed by you brother therefore although I have much boldness in Mashiach to command you what is fitting because of love I rather appeal being such a one of Shaul the aged and now also a prisoner of Yeshua HaMashiach <laughs> I appeal to you for my child. Oh, I appeal to you for my child. Sorry, the phone went off. Onesimus, whom I brought forth while in my chains, who formerly was of no use to you, but now is of good use to you and to me. When I sent back, whom I sent back to you, and receive him, that is, my own tender affections, whom I wanted to keep with me, that on your behalf he might serve me in my chains for the good news. But without your opinion, I wanted to do naught, I wanted to do nothing, so that your good deed should not be by way of necessity, but voluntary. For he departed for a while, possibly because of this, so that you might have him back forever, no longer as a slave, but more than a slave, as a beloved brother, especially to me, and how much more to you, both in the flesh and in the Adon. So if you regard me as your partner, receive him as you would me. But if he has wronged you or owes you whatever, Put that on my account, I shall all write with my own hand, I shall repay, not to mention to you that you indeed owe yourself to me also. Yes, brother, let me derive pleasure from you in the Adon, refresh my tender affections in the Adon. Trusting in your obedience, I write to you, knowing that you shall do even more than I say, and at the same time also prepare a place for me to stay, for I trust that through your prayers I shall be given to you. Epaphras, fellow prisoner of me in Mashiach, Yeshua, greets you. Marcos, Aristarchos, Demas, Lucas, my fellow workers, the favour of our Adon, Yeshua, HaMashiach, be with you, be with your spirit. Amen. Okay, so that was 
was short and sweet. Amen. And may we be with your spirit too, your Ruach. You're a Yahweh for the good news. And for inspiring us. It feels like he fattened up my heart with his love. Thank you, Father, for residing in our hearts. Thank you, Arba, for causing us to want to know you in truth, your truth. Thank you for sending Yeshua HaMashiach, your Yahid, unique one to us. Thank you for the word and the salvation and the comforter. Please keep us firmly yoked to only you. Guide us with, our, with your discernment. Guard us from our own discernment. Guard us from the temptations abound and please deliver us from all evil. Hold our hands, Father, and have us only walk with you. You are our everything and without you there is nothing. You are my life. My life is yours. You are the immense love I feel, the joy and peace that emanates from inside. Your presence holds me together. I feel so humbled from how well you know me. You change my plans and guide my steps and protect me with your Gedea HaKodesh. Your hedge of protection, Father, your dedicated hedge of protection. You understand me and fill me full of hope in you. Dear Father, we patiently await Yeshua and to come to you, to your Malhut. Thank you for the hope, the expectation, the reason to get up every day with you. And through Yeshua I pray. In Yahweh, Yahweh, my Kodesh Elohim, Yahweh Echad, Amen. Much shalom and peace, and Achav, much love and joy and happiness to you all. Adon will be here on time, no doubt about it. Yere Yahweh, onward and upward, waiting with you, Chavarim and Mishpachah. Shalom.